today's video, I want to talk to you about custom ease. Choosing, or in this case, creating the right ease makes all the difference in the world. In this animation right here, you'll see that the car slows down a little bit at the top of the hills and then speeds up as it goes down. That's all created with a custom ease. In this version, you'll see that the car sort of struggles to get up that first hill. That again is controlled with a custom ease. Now, we've been thinking of eases as controlling the speed of an animation, but as you see here, it also controls the direction of the animation. In my motion study demo, I used a custom ease so that this little pink ball would slow down at the top of the curve and then speed up as it drops in, and then it slows down again as it reaches its apex and then drops back down. In this demo, a custom ease is used to make a realistic snap when I'm building this robot. That's pretty cool. And in today's lesson, we'll use a custom ease to give Herman this custom little wiggle here. So let's check it out. All right, so here's my starter demo. And basically what we have here is just a simple tween where Herman scales to a scale of two with a back ease. So let me just run this and you'll see that on start, he's going to just get bigger and then come down a little bit. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I love the back ease, but for this, I want something a little bit more, all right? So what we need to do is figure out how to load custom ease and then create one. To load custom ease, I'm gonna to go to the Greensock docs. From any page on greensock.com, just click on docs. On the docs homepage, we have the GSAP3 overview. Down by custom ease, it says requires Greensock account free. Well, what does that mean? It means that at the top of any page, you can click the login, create account button. And what that's gonna do is just give you a Greensock account so you can post in the forums, get the newsletter and download custom ease. It's all free. For now, what I wanna do though, is I'm just going to click on this code pen button to copy that URL to my clipboard. Back over in CodePen, I'm just gonna click on the JS settings and I'm going to paste in that URL that I just copied. Save and close. As with all tools that aren't in the GSAP core, it's good to register them. So I'm gonna do gsap.register plugin custom ease. And now it's time to create a custom ease. So back on the docs homepage, I'm gonna click on eases and that's gonna take us to the Greensock ease visualizer. If you're not familiar with reading ease curves, you definitely have to watch my video using the Greensock Ease Visualizer. So I'll assume you know the basics. And what I'm gonna do here is click on None, which gives us a linear ease at constant motion. And I like doing this because then I have an ease with no additional points. And then when I hit Custom, this line becomes completely editable. You'll notice there are some instructions up here on the top that show you some of the keyboard shortcuts and general usage tips. What I'm gonna do is just walk you through some of them, all right? So I have this editable line here, and if I do an option click, I can add a point, and then I can move it wherever I want. I can use these handles here to control the curve. I can option click to add another point and bring this part back down. So if you've watched my other videos before, you know that this curve shows us that as we go towards our target value, we're then going to go back down to where we began and then shoot back up. Let me just do a quick run and you'll see that we go up, back, and then up. That's pretty cool. Down at the bottom, what we get here is SVG path data for that curve. You'll see also that inside of this tween, for the ease property, it says custom ease dot create, and then it has all this text here. That can get a little bit messy. So what I'm gonna do is just double click on that SVG path data. I'm gonna do a command C to copy, and let me show you how to add that to our animation. Back over in CodePen, I'm going to write custom ease dot create. And this is a method, and the first parameter is going to be the name of the ease. I'm just gonna call it my ease as a string. And then we're gonna put another string in, which is going to be that path data that I copied. After I paste that in, inside of my tween, what I can do is say that the ease is going to be my ease. Now when I run, you're gonna see that Herman gets big, goes small, and gets big again. Nice, all right, pretty cool. We could accentuate that a little bit more, maybe make the scale a little bit bigger. Let's hit run, and one more time you're going to see that he grows, shrinks, and then grows forward again. Pretty cool. 
Let's build some more custom eases. All right, for the next ease I wanna build, I don't want these curvy lines. So I'm gonna show you that I can select any point on the ease curve and I can delete it. I can also select an existing curve and if I hold down option and click it, it's going to turn it into a corner point, all right? So now the ease that I'm gonna create, believe it or not, is gonna be this very sharp angle, okay? So what does that mean? It means we're gonna jump really quick towards the end value and then go real slow and linear. We'll do a little preview here with a little dot. Check that out. But now let's add it to our file. I'm just gonna double click to select the ease. We're gonna copy. And back in my file, all I need to do is select this text here and paste. And now when I run, you'll see that it's going to, boom, come at us and then go slow. For something like this, I might even uh, scale a little bit bigger, make the duration a little bit longer, and we'll run one more time. And again, just a cool effect that's totally customized. I can click, boom, and he comes in fast. And then we have this ominous growth. And I would probably put another tween where maybe he fades out as well. But I just love that I have this level of control. Back in the Ease Visualizer, I can do an option drag on this point, And that's going to give me those uh, control handles. So it's now a curved point. Now, I'm just going to start off from scratch again. Let me just select this. I'm going to go to None and custom, all right? So I have a nice straight line with no extra points. And what we're gonna do is sort of a wiggle in place. Now what's cool about custom ease is that I can create an ease that literally starts where it begins. So I'm gonna take the end point here and let me just click and drag it down and it should snap at the bottom there. And now check this out. I'll take this little point here, we'll do one of these jobs. And what's gonna happen is that the ball is going to go to the end position and then come back down. Check it out. We go up and then come back down. So I can have an animation or tween end where it begins. That's pretty cool. So let me just undo a little bit. And what I'm going to do is for my first point, I'm gonna option click and add it right here. I'm gonna go down below where I'm starting. I'm going to add another point here and we're going to take these handles and do something like this. I'm gonna take this one here and I'm going to bring it down, all right? So we're just gonna have something like this. Maybe I'll move this one down. I don't wanna spend all day editing this in front of you, but I just wanna get the general idea so that you can actually see how something like this would work. All right, for now, I'm gonna be happy with this. So let's just run and keep an eye on the ball. It goes down, up, and then comes back, all right? So I could smooth this out and adjust the uh, steepness of the curves a little bit, but it's good enough for now. One thing I wanna show you is that we're never gonna get to the ending value here, okay? We're just gonna go sort of halfway to whatever our ending value is and come back. But let me just grab this string here. I'm gonna copy it. And then back in this file, again, I'm just going to paste that string in. So since we're only animating the scale here, you're going to see that Herman's gonna get small, get big, and then come back to normal size. He's never gonna to get to his full scale of four, it's probably gonna be something more like two. So let's just run, and we should have a pretty cool scale pulse effect, all right? And comes out at us, all right? Not too bad. I could put something like a little bit of like a rotation negative 40 in there, and you know what, it was probably a little too slow. That's one of the problems. Let's do one second and I'll run. And here you're gonna get this nice little sort of uh, Did you hear that? Look, pretty fun, right? So there's no ease out of the box that's going to do that for you. It's all done with custom ease. So please take custom ease for a spin and let me see what you can build with it. It's a lot of fun.